Can everyone see my screen okay and everyone can hear me okay? Awesome. So as everyone is still joining us, I'll be letting them in little by little. So good morning, everyone. Thank you all for coming and taking time out of your busy, busy schedules to um, join us here today to learn more about what we're doing this year with our mentees and our mentors. We're super, super excited for this new year. We have a lot of um, new uh, things coming and a lot of information to throw your way. So um, I'm going to try to maybe not take up too much time, even though it's a lot, but if I'm going too quickly, please stop me and uh, slow me down. Um, and then definitely ask as many questions as uh, you need. So um, the Hispanic Mentoring Program has a new logo and tagline. If you have not yet seen it, it is PASOS which stands for Pasión para Avanzar Superando Obstáculos y Ser Leader, which translates into the desire to move forward, overcoming obstacles and becoming a leader. So at this time, I want everyone to pull out their um, cell phones. And if you have um, Google Play Store or Apple Store, start getting that up and running. And we'll talk about that in just a minute here. So uh, we have some new schools to talk about. Some, um, some of our mentees are officially transitioning into um, high school. So we have um, exciting new things for them um, and a bunch of events that we want for y'all to join us uh, either through volunteering or, or come and seeing what we're doing. And we have a new mentor rewards program that we're excited to introduced to you all and we really hope that you enjoy it. So if you pulled up your app store, can you please search Class Dojo in your app? And once you've downloaded that, let me know. Is the icon for this just a like green shark looking thing with a headband? Yeah, so let me see if I can show you what my icon looks like. So I can't see my... I can't see my, my camera. <laughs> there I am. Okay. Let's see. There. Okay, I see. Thank you. So Class Dojo is what we're going to use um, to to really get our information out to you all, the mentors, and uh, keep up with activities that you're doing with your mentees and a rewards program that we're in. What are you looking for? I'm sorry? Is this the one you're looking for, this one? Let me see you, let me find you. Give me a second, Luis. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, this one, right? Yep. Okay, thank you. So I don't have an iPhone, I have an Android, so just- That works. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So does everyone, if you want to, if your camera's on, give me a thumbs up. If your speakers are on, say we're good to go. Yes, awesome, okay. <clears throat> So the Hispanic Mentoring Priority is um, here to support our students and empower them to feel confident enough to continue on through their high school journey, um, regardless of their current situations. Um, we want them to 
understand that graduating high school is important for their future. Um, it's more than just a mentoring program where we um, provide our students and their families and the communities with workshops for them to, um, to build experiences outside of school that they wouldn't normally have. For example, we have our Saturday life lessons where they, um, they learn things like sewing and cooking and uh, the, appre the appreciation for labor that goes into their everyday um, things that they enjoy, not knowing if they hadn't participated in it before, not understanding the, the labor that actually goes into it. Um, they, they gain background knowledge on um, things that they, are, that they wouldn't normally have. We've also had this past summer, we had a, a three week summer camp that we uh, provided our students with a field trip to Fernbank Museum, which is something that they wouldn't typically experience um, through not every school offers um, field trips. So if you're not going, if you're not going through the school, it's difficult for some families to be able to get out and drive all the way down to Atlanta. Um, so that was ex an experience that they um, didn't typically get to have. They also had the opportunity to learn some coding and um, we invited uh, the science machine, which made science fun, kind of making it like magic for our students. And then um, once the magic was done, he explained exactly how it worked scientifically. And um, all the kids absolutely loved it. I loved it. I sat in the theater cracking up and everybody kept looking at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but it was really good. It was really funny. And the students were really engaged. And not only did they like it, they learned from it also because he used actual te technical terms that the students are learning in their classrooms. So it's not only magical, it's relatable to them. Wrong way. Uh, the Hispanic Mentoring Priority was created to um, to help to help build our um, Hispanic graduation rates. Uh, the percentage of the Hispanic graduation rates are a lot lower than the rest of the groups in our community. Um, there are multiple reasons why. Uh, they they lack in in motivation to graduate high school, um, whether they have to stay home and take care of a sibling or um, work to help support their families. A lot of them are not feeling respected or or maybe don't understand how to respect their um, the leaders in their school. A lot a lot of them are not relatable because of the, the differences in their cultures and their backgrounds. Um, so mentoring our Hispanic students is important in making sure that they know that graduating high school is a priority for, for them. They may already feel like they are successful, especially the ones that are working and, and earning a wage for their families, but they need to understand that graduating high school is really just a stepping stone to, to what they can do to, to be even greater than what they are. So I'm gonna take a minute. Does anybody have any questions? Good to go. Okay. I do with the, with the app. Um, I, was, I, I downloaded the app. Which group am I looking for? So I will give you a minute. So actually, it should come up saying for you to sign in as either a teacher or school leader or student, correct? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> in, uh, in a few minutes, we are going to click on student. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So I'm, I am a student? Yes. Okay. We're all students. Okay. We're all learners. We're always learners. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
So the Hispanic Mentoring Priority has added 11 new schools to our um, outreach. Um, some of you may recognize these as um, the schools that your current mentees are in because they are officially transitioning into high school. And um, others are brand new to the program, brand new middle schools. If you know anyone interested in mentoring or anyone that you would like to share your mentoring experience with that um, is relatively close to any of these locations, please send us their information and we would love to connect with them. Okay, so for our high school, newly high school students, um, we start our program in sixth grade in order to continue to build that relationship with our students throughout high school. And um, some of our mentees are officially transitioning into high school for the first time this year. So we've created a, um, a Life After High School series, which is part of our Saturday Life lesson. Um, there are three tracks where the students will learn about licensed, licensed professionals, college and entrepreneurship. Um, they'll learn, they'll hear from a realty specialist and a firefighter. They'll learn uh, the importance of developing a college list and how college is paid for uh, through FAFSA and grants um, and which college is the best uh, choice for them. They'll also learn about what an entrepreneur is and um, what a tax ID is, how to, how to get a tax ID, um, and really just uh, all the information that they need in order to feel confident enough to be successful after high school. So we want them to understand that uh, life doesn't end when you graduate. Don't be afraid to graduate because once you've finished high school, it's a whole new ball game. And, um, we want them to be confident and comfortable enough to achieve those, those excellent goals. So actually, if anyone wants to unmute at this time, we have had some mentors express some concerns with not being able to connect with their mentees um, in terms of actually meeting them for the first time, whether it's virtually or in person on the phone or through text message, however the case may be. So I was wondering if I can hear from anyone um, who did have an, uh, a chance to connect with their mentee and um, can maybe tell us how, how they were successful. Okay, so um, last year, um, I, I got the information and I spoke with the mom. Um, I got her phone number and um, just uh, just reached out and, and said, hey, um, I would like to meet, meet up with you and, and meet up if, if possible with, with dad as well. And I was able to just arrange it where I'm, I'm talking to both of them at the same time and the son, and and it was it was through it was through uh, I, I I let them choose which app and they, they chose Zoom, so um it was it was very very um it was very very nice to to hear from them what they what they expected they had been in the program before and they had this they had they had got gotten discouraged because the prior mentor was uh, was was no longer with them. So I, I think they really wanted to be part of this program and, and that helped a lot. Um, that helped a lot, that helped me a lot to kind of communicate who I am. Just, I just started introducing myself and, and, and what I do and, and hearing from them, hearing what they, what they wanted. And it, it was very helpful that way to, to just, just arrange and just, I, I, I asked them, hey, what, what, what app do you want to use? To, to, to meet virtually, because that, that's how we ended up meeting virtually. That's awesome, Alejandro, thank you. So he, um, he gave his family the opportunity to choose which outlet was best for them 
to meet with their mentor for the first time. And he met with the parents, he introduced himself, um, he got their concerns and, and what they really expected from their men their child's mentor and what, what they wanted their mentor to support their child with. And I thought that was really, that's really great, a really great way to connect with um, the family of your mentor. So some of you are saying that they're, your parents are not very receptive or the students are not responding to your messages or your phone calls. Um, there are many outlets for you to use um, WhatsApp, uh, social media, if, if your parents allow, always get the permission. Um, first, introduce yourself to your parent, to your families. And if, um, if Alejandro's um, scenario doesn't work for you, the best option for you would be your school contact before um, when we set you up with your mentee when we match you for the first time we send you the school's information um, and this uh, school contact is the best way to connect with your family when anyone when all else fails um, this the families are really comfortable with where their students are going and once they hear from the school that this is a legit program and that uh, this person is really here to support their, their child, then that helps them be a little more on board. Sometimes the family doesn't really understand what it is that you're calling them for. And um, having that extra person on your side telling the family that this really is a benefit for, your, for their child can help um, help you connect with them. Also, don't ever be afraid to call me. Um, my email me, cell, my cell phone, text message, either one is fine. All right, so um, I know you all have your cell phones on you because I asked you to download an app. So actually right now, I want you to open your calendars and add October 23rd at 8 a.m. to your calendar because you're all invited to our meet and greet of the year. Uh, this is the best opportunity for you to meet your mentees and their families. Some of you will be meeting for the very, very first time in person. Um, some of you were matched during the middle of the pandemic and have not been able to meet with your students or with your mentees in person or their families, and this is the best way to connect with them. And it'll be over breakfast, which is even better. Breakfast is my absolute favorite time of the day, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> um, there's, uh, you'll have the opportunity to connect with each other for the first time in person. Um, share your stories about how, how you have been successful as a mentor or, or how you haven't been successful and get some advice on on how you can um, connect better with your mentee. And then this is also our first Saturday life lesson of the year. Um, so you'll actually get being at the meet and greet with your families, you'll be able to see what Hispanic mentoring does other than mentoring. Um, we have our first Saturday, Saturday life lesson where the middle schoolers will learn things like sewing and cooking, um, and the high schoolers will have their first licensed professional um, speaker and their first entrepreneur speaker and college speaker. Though. So you'll be able to really see what else Hispanic mentoring has to offer and what it is that we do for our community. Yes, we see. You're muted. Anna, Anna, um, where or uh, what's the location where this meeting is going to take place? So it will be at Bergmar High School and uh, you'll get an email. It'll be for you to sign up through Eventbrite and all the details will be in the email, um, but it'll be at Bergmar High School. I'm sorry, <laughs> Bergmar Middle School. Oh, I misspoke. Thank you, Neri. Bergmar Middle School. Middle School, thank you. Great, thanks. Thank you. So I really, really hope I can see you all um, and meet you all for the first time. This will be my first time meeting any of you. 
uh, or most of you, I met some of you when you volunteered for summer camp. Um, but this will be my first time getting to meet the bulk of you. And I, I am really here to support you all. And I would really love to see you all in person and, and connect the face to the, the person that's helping me support these students. So these are some other dates that you can add to your calendar. Before the time comes, you'll get a reminder in your email or in and in Class Dojo when we sign up. These are events that we are either going to invite you to join us, um, share with your families. Not everything needs to be uh, a mentor or a mentee. It, some of it is for families um, like the Café con Leche, which is the second one on the list. It is a YouTube event where we are inviting parents of our eighth grade students to come and learn about how they can support their students as they transition into high school. So that is something that we want the mentors of the eighth graders to share with them and, and let them know that we're here to support not just the student, but also their family. And also we're always looking for volunteers, whether it is to help us set up for an event, help us break down an event, um, give directions during, during an event, uh, monitor the hallways, whatever the case may be, we're always looking for volunteers. So Whenever we have something coming up, we will send out a volunteer invite list and we would love to see your guys' name on it. Our goal this year is to recruit 100 mentors to support our new students in those new schools. We are also, our goal is also to recruit 100 new students. Um, so we're having a mentor recruitment drive, and I am challenging each of you to refer at least one mentor, just one. Um, and those mentors, as you know, have to be uh, 21 and older. We provide free training and resources support for, for the mentors and a free background check. Um, this is a great opportunity for you to get to ex share your experiences with your friends or your colleagues, someone that you know um, that has a passion for supporting our community like you do, and um, you'll be able to have one extra thing in common. Which brings me to our rewards program. I'm so excited about this. Um, so if everyone wants to open up their Class Dojo app and click on I'm a student, and then there should be, it might ask you for access to your camera. Um, if it does, please allow it. And then scan the QR code on the screen and please unmute yourself so that I know that you, that you are good to go. Um, I have a question. What's the code? There should be um, a camera. I'm going to open mine just to make sure. Because I'm using, I'm on the Zoom call and I'm on the app at the same time. <laughs> okay, then don't worry about it. Um, if you email me, I can, mm -hmm. if you send me an email, I can, um, I can get you into the class later on. Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask that. I'm on my phone for Zoom, too. Okay, yep. No worries. Thank you for, for trying, at least. <laughs> Anna, maybe you can send the instructions and the QR to everyone. Yes. So I will send you all. Um, I'll actually send you all a recording of the, the um, this session here, um, and you can go back and review it whenever, and I will also send you the instructions on how to get into our class dojo and the QR code. And I am just looking to see if anyone, has anyone yet been unsuccessful with getting in? This is what I got. I'm looking. Go ahead, Michael. Oh, it's just, uh, it's taken a little bit. I don't know if it's because it's the uh, the internet connection that I'm on or, or not, but it's just take, taken a bit. Okay. 
I got zero points, no activities. Oh, well, that means that you're in at least. Oh, yeah. No, I'm in already. I'm already. Well, in here. awesome. Yay. My name is there, Luis, and all that. You are there. And that's your name already right there? That is me. That means Gonzalez. I think Luis should get some points for being the first one to show, to show that he's <laughs> Um, actually, we all get points for being here today. Um, we, <laughs> we get points uh, for um, attending events, if our mentee attends an event, and if you and your mentee attend an event. So you have the opportunity for three points for one event because you attended, your mentor attended, I mean, your mentee attended, and there he is. <laughs> um, so for today, everyone that is here gets a point. Yeah, you. Um, you get a point for volunteering at events. You get a point if you refer to a mentor. And if your mentor completes training, you get two points. Um, and at the end of each semester, so in December and May, we will have a, um, a drawing for each category. The more points you get, the more chances you have to win that drawing. And then every year we have a mentor appreciation day at uh, close to the end of the year. And we really, really want to be able to recognize our um, most involved mentors with our program uh, to help motivate everyone else to support our community. Yes, Michael. Hey, I, I love I love incentives. Uh, I think uh, a lot of us are, are competitive by nature, but um, it, I, I see a lot of great, great, uh, great ways to get some points. Uh, would it be possible to also get some points when we have those mentor mentee connections to make those those connections those absolutely you know, yes I so i can add I, that's that's a great idea thank you i will add an extra category um so it also gives you an opportunity to use class dojo a little more so every time let's do this every time that you meet with your mentee whether it's through a text message or video chat or lunch whatever the case may be every time that you connect with your mentee you'll get a point um, but I want you to update that in Class Dojo. So it's if you go into Class Dojo and say, I'm here meeting with my mentee for lunch today, boom, you get a point. So I love that. I think that's awesome. Class Dojo is also a way, it's, it'll be like our Facebook. Um, so if you want to post pictures of what you're going, uh, what you're doing with your mentee, um, I will be posting information on events and different um, different resources that you can use or activities that you can do with your mentee uh, throughout throughout the year. There'll be a lot of updates, and we're we're definitely going to stick to class dojo. Does anyone have questions about that? We we have control of class dojo, not you, right? Well, you're not going to add the points because you won't be able to know where we are with the uh, mentee at a certain time. But we are the one who are going to add up the points or write down the uh, activity that we are doing with the students, is it? So it'll be me, it'll be me giving you the points for each activity that you do. Um, so when you, it's, it'll, it's kind of like Facebook. So if you go in and you wanna post something, if you go in and you want to post something, you would um, say, I'm here having lunch at my uh, mentee's school. And it can be with or without a picture. Um, and uh, boom, you get a point. Yeah. Yeah. But my question is, are we going to write it down, the activity right here in, in, dojo, in class dojo? Or you we can? are going to send you an email and let you know what we're doing with the student at the time? You could do whichever one is most comfortable well, for you. I'm okay with. Um, and then I'm, I see everyone here today. So I will give you the point for uh, attending the event. Um, if you volunteer and I see you come in for the specific um, 
event that you volunteered for, when once I see you, I will give you the other point. Um, when it comes to referring a mentor, I want you to email me personally. Hey, I have this person. Um, I think that they would be a great mentor with your program. Here's the catch though. You have to speak to the person before you refer them to me. So I want to call this person and say, hey, I, I got your name from Nicole and uh, she says that you would be a great mentor for our program. And then the person says, what are you talking about? I want them to be like, yeah, I also spoke to Nicole and, and I'm really excited about this. So that's another point. Now that person cre uh, finished training and boom, two more points. I see Hayden's hand up. Um, are you guys looking specifically for Hispanic mentors? Because I, I'm the only Hispanic friend of mine, so I don't want to refer them to this necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's actually a really good question that I've had uh, quite a few times no it, it does not have to be a Hispanic person to mentor our students uh the Spanish the person does need to speak English uh because okay. our our students speak English and uh, we want to be able to connect with them as best as possible but the person does not need to be Hispanic in order to mentor our students okay thank you thank you <laughs> Are there any more questions about uh, Class Dojo or referring mentors, anything of that nature? I logged into cl cl um, Class Dojo, and my name was already in 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 the in the app. Okay, so we're we're already auto auto populated. Okay. Yeah. So you'll find your name. Our name is okay. Yeah. So you're okay. good. You found yeah, it. I'm good. So, so awesome. um, my name is here. So, I, I I really don't do anything to the app, or or do I add? You, it's already good to I'm go. Sure you don't you... have to add anything about yourself. I think that there's an option to customize your avatar, which is like a little monster kind of thing, um, mm -hmm. and you can have as much fun with that as you want. Um, okay. But other than that, you don't. Everything is all set up. You don't have to do anything. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, does the system, uh, I'm sorry, does the system already connect, uh, created a shortcut from the uh, display? What do you mean? Uh, in order to, for me to get access to the uh, dojo class, do I have a shortcut? Like, like if I go to the display of the, of the uh, 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 phone, I'll be able to see a connection directly to the do uh, class dojo? Or I have to con I have I have to uh, look for the uh, site every time that I'm going to. Okay, I got it, I got. It. I was I was I was looking for this. You were looking the for app, the icon. Yeah, yeah the yeah, icon. The I figured out what you were saying. So yeah, so yeah. you don't. Shortcut. Yep. Shortcut right here. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. Yes, like an app. Yeah. Hey, Luis. This is Nori. Um, I just want to make sure that um we were really clear. So you update right. Anna doesn't necessarily have to update what you're doing. So you don't have to aim, you can, she says, but I think you should update like when you see your mentee or whatever on your own, because you have that access to do it on right. Class Dojo. Anna right. doesn't have to do it for you. You can get on there and you can say, I talked to Caleb uh, today, you know, via the phone, or I went by Caleb's house and saw him, et cetera. Right. right. Thank, Thank you, Mary. Yeah. I don't want to move on before everyone is good to go. We're all good? Okay. So these are um, the beautiful faces of the Hispanic Mentoring Priority. Um, Nuri Castillo Crawford, uh, who we just heard talking, is our director. This is her um, her office and her cell phone number. You can email her at any time. And then um, my name is Anna Gonzalez. I am the student mentor for the Hispanic Mentor. Whoop, I am so sorry, my dog just came in. Um, I am the student mentor for the Hispanic Mentoring Priority. 
And um, you are more than welcome to contact me with any questions that you may have at any time via email, office, or uh, mobile. A text message is good also. Um, I am here to support you as, as much as possible in any way possible. Does anyone have any questions um, overall? Good to go. All right. So thank you all for being here today. We had a lot of information to share. We got a new rewards program, which I'm really excited about. And it seems like everyone else is also really excited about. Um, we will be um, implementing a mentor recruitment drive that I, I can't wait to get an influx of emails with all the, the referrals of mentors that I get from you all. I'm going to leave you with this quote from Denzel Washington. Show me a successful individual and I'll show you someone who had real positive influences in his or her life. I don't care what you do for a living. If you do it well, I'm sure there was someone cheering you on or showing you the way, a mentor. Thank you, everyone. I, um, I hope I didn't take up too much time. I know that you all have um, a job to get to. And I am super appreciative of the time that you took to, to sit here with me and go over this, um, all this that really important, valuable information. Uh, before I go, I just want to make sure, are we good? Does anyone have any questions? All good? All right, everyone. Oh, sorry, I had a question. So um, uh, for the class, Jojo, um, you're going to set, after we're done with the Zoom card, you're going to send us the information of how to get on and everything. Yes, so I am going to send, you'll get an email with the recording for this. You'll get an email, um, in the same email, it'll be instructions on how to download Class Dojo and how to log into Class Dojo. And then uh, some more details explaining the rewards program and, and how to post when you met with your mentee. Oh, okay. How many points am I going to get for the summer camp? <laughs> that is a great coming. question, we You know why? <laughs> because we are wanting volunteers all the time. However, summer camp passed. <laughs> so this is moving forward. Today is day one. Today is point one. It should uh, we be can consider, Luis. You were there a lot, so we Anna and I will meet and we will reconsider that. That is <laughs> summer camp in the new year. Summer <laughs> camp is this school year, so we will reconsider that, Louise. I'm on your Thank team, you. Louise. <laughs> you. Nobody's got your back. <laughs> Joe was there. Yep, yeah, I see you, two. Joe. Yep, that's right. That's Joe. right. Joe yes, was there. I appreciate you guys. You guys are like always my volunteers, so I'm going to look out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, encourage, I encourage everyone to go and serve the summer camp. It's nice. Yes. Nice. Good experience. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You hear that, right? <laughs> Summer camp is a lot of fun. Just can't get the heat sharing all the information. Thank you, Anna. Information. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Nuri. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a, have a good day. God bless you. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good week. Adios. 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 Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.